Okay. Hey guys, G5 Cosmos here with IQHQ Vinny, the winner of our tournament. Um, and I am here to present you with our trophy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Congratulations, man. Thank you. All right, so I'm also going to ask you a couple questions about the tournament today. I've actually written a couple down because I want to talk about it. Okay. Um, so, I mean, we could talk about a lot of things in your bracket, but I think the notable point is John Numbers. Yeah, um, and this is the second time you've been to a Poppin' Off tournament, and already in both tournaments you've played John Numbers, winners finals and grand finals. You guys have been the top two seeds in both tournaments. Uh, last tournament, he actually took you out in winners finals, and then you beat him in grand finals in two sets. This tournament was a bit different. Took him out in winners finals, took him out in grand finals. So, talk about what it takes to adapt to this player. Um, okay, like, originally I didn't know, like, Wii Fit's move, custom moves. The first time, actually, before custom games, he, I mean, custom, oh yeah, popping games, he actually beat me in a custom tournament, 2-0. Uh, his moves are, like, way different than the rest of, like, Wii Fit's default moves. Mm -hmm. So, um, it took me a couple of sets to end up adapting to his, uh, his moves itself, not just the playstyle. And the playstyle is just, like, added on top of that, because I feel like John Numbers is really good, also. Yeah. So, it was very tough. So yeah, um, adapting, you just have to uh, see like what he does and just like constantly switch up what you're doing. And like, you don't even need to exert pressure, just jump around, see what his mix-ups are, and then adapt after that. Like, you don't have to rush anything. So last time in our interview, you talked about how you had trouble dealing with Wii Fit Trainer's custom up B in particular. Uh, and you even mentioned that you thought uh, numbers should have spammed it more, maybe used it more, because you didn't know exactly how to deal it. I think he used it more this tournament. Yeah, it may, maybe, maybe he caught the interview. Yeah. Um, did, you, did you come up with anything new to deal with it? I mean, I saw one time you actually crouched underneath it when yeah, he was okay, so above you. Yeah, okay, so DK Will, um, he yeah. came up Shout with this thing. DK Will. Alright, so up B has six hits, so after you shield the fourth one, you, sh you shield the first four, and then you crouch out of shield. Mm. I mean, yeah, you crouch out of shield, and then he's forced to go somewhere, either left or right, and then you punish and him. And you punish him, yeah. Because usually they go for the edge. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes, like, he'll still get the ledge. Like, his up you usage is really tricky. Very interesting. So you'd say you definitely got a better handle on it this time yeah. compared to last time. I played him in six sets now, so I feel like, um, or seven or something. Yeah, six sets, so. Quite a um, few. Yeah, so I feel like I'll destroy any other Wii Fit trainer. Because I feel like he's, <laughs> yeah. the, he's the best Wii Fit trainer. Probably the best Wii absolutely. All right, let's see what else I got to ask you. Um, I also saw that you played uh, Ultimate Warrior, as someone I've come to know, Cliff. Uh, he's a very good Mario player. Anything notable about that set? Uh, yeah, I've actually known Cliff for like six years. What's, oh, up? What's okay. up, Cliff? And um, yeah, uh, he's a really solid uh, fundamental Smash player. Um, he's He was tricky in a playstyle. Like, his playstyle was tricky because when I'm at low percent Mario, I'm expecting him to run up and grab me yeah. because they want to do down, down throw. Up till, till down, well, yeah, down throw to anything. Sheet, right? yeah. Well, you know, it does. To yeah. jab, right? No, yeah. down, down throw up till up till. Oh, down it does throw work against Mario. Yeah. Okay. Oh, against Sheik, yeah. I mean, Sheik, so, yeah. Yeah, but Ultimate Warrior was unique in the fact that he never fished for grabs at all. And um, so I was, I was playing anti grab when I was low percent, but it wasn't working because he wasn't grabbing. So yeah. it was interesting that he didn't opt to. Um, he's, he's told me about other matches that he played that he likes to use. Um, he likes to condition players and then save certain things. I mean, I'm sure a lot of top players do that in general. But he mentioned a match that he played against Zork in our last tournament, where he um, he hadn't gone off stage for an attack like the whole game, and then at the very last minute he went for it and he got it because yeah. it messes with the person's head. They're not yeah, expecting it. Yeah, definitely a really good so uh, thing to do. In Smash. Yeah, he's, he's one of the best Mario's I've played because I. I don't know if I'd say main, but I do play Mario myself, and like I didn't even realize how great of a move down air is uh, yeah. until I played against. It's actually him. pretty safe on shield, and it combos into dance. Moves. Yep, and you can land with it and all kinds of yep. stuff. So that's really good. I saw he almost took a game off you, but yeah, yeah it was <laughs> close. But I, I had that clutch factor. I had yep. guarded him always, always. When I was close to dying. Let's see what else. Okay, so another thing I noticed that you do. I mean, gosh, there's so much that you do with Sheik. Uh, be reverse needles, of course. Uh, by the way, where did you pick that up from? There's just some. Mitono. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mitono is the best Sheik of Japan. Oh, yeah. Game tape actually got top five. I, I saw yeah, that. I saw that. style a lot. Um, but another thing that I really love that you go for a lot is uh, the mix up with the up B going for kills. And I find that it puts you, the opponent in a very interesting 50-50 uh, situation if you down throw them or just get them into the air in general. Um, if they're at high percent, they can either air dodge uh, an up air, which would potentially kill them, or they're forced to get hit by the up B if you yep. go for that differently. So that's a yeah. very... So whatever beats the up B loses to the up air, and whatever lose, whatever beats the up air loses to the up B, yep. so it's 50-50. Yep. And I also see you, you use it to punish uh, edge get up, which is really cool. Yep. Uh, and you got a lot of kills on numbers today with that. You're talking about up B? No, oh, what did I say? No, no, no. Oh, I yeah, yeah, up B. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's punish the edge get up. And, um... Yeah, so anything else you want to say about this tournament? This is your second uh, time to pop it yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Every, every time I've been here, it's been super solid. The staff is really nice. Um, turnouts are always very solid. Streams yeah. always pop in. And uh, the competition is legit. John Numbers definitely the Wii Fit. The best Wii Fit in the world. 
Um, and I hope to play other Wii Fits to prove that point. <laughs> yep. Also, thank you for bringing in this mic. Oh, yeah, uh, no problem. It. We, we even bought our own today, but you got it awesome. Yeah, I brought uh, it just in case. Yep. And, um, yeah, so I also want to give a shout-out um, to our stream, twitch.tv slash Game5Smash. Yep. Uh, and all the matches that you saw on this stream today, whether you saw them or not, actually, are going to be up on our YouTube, which is just search Game5Smash on YouTube, and you'll find us, and all of our videos are there from all of our tournaments. And, uh, yeah, just Game 5 Smash, that's where we're at. And uh, so thank also thanks to the venue, Poppin' Games. And um, all of these links are going to be in the description of this video, so you guys can check that out. 